Hi everyone, my name is Richard Zhang, and I'm a technical marketing engineer here at Cisco's Enterprise Networking Business Unit. I'd like to welcome you to episode one of the Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning series, where we'll be diving into Cisco's state-of-the-art AI-driven analytics solution, an intent-based networking feature on Cisco DNA Center, and how you can leverage the power of artificial intelligence together with machine learning to enhance your networking experience immeasurably. To get started, let me provide you with a product overview. AI-driven analytics is Cisco's state-of-the-art machine learning solution that takes advantage of Cisco's 35 plus years of networking expertise and massive data lake of live deployment data to build sophisticated machine learning models in order to provide technical insights into your network at a level not possible with any other solution. It started when Cisco's distinguished engineering teams developed network analyzing machine learning algorithms by simulating the knowledge of Cisco's most elite networking experts from all of engineering, customer experience, and TAC teams. AI-driven analytics then leverages these machine learning algorithms which reside in a secure cloud architecture by taking the data sent from your network infrastructure, anonymizes it, sends it to the cloud for analysis, then decrypts it when it's sent back. By doing so, the machine learning algorithm can securely and without compromising data privacy, find patterns, cross-learn, discover, and root cause critical issues by comparing your network with thousands of live networks. Now, let's talk about the end user experience. AI-driven analytics is divided into four features. The first is cognitive analytics with dynamic baselining. The second is network insights. The third is heat maps. And the fourth is comparative analytics. Each of these features are incredible and each have their own specific use cases. But today, we'll be diving into number one, cognitive analytics with dynamic baselining. And to get started, let me provide you with a problem statement present in all network deployments today. The ability to discover and address network issues effectively is the most imperative aspect of ensuring a great user experience. The challenge is, with networks being composed of so many different KPIs, it's difficult to keep track of it all by yourself. There are supposed solutions out in the market that monitor network KPIs. However, most of these solutions do so with a static threshold using a min and max value. The problem with this approach is that networks are a highly variable entity, and what KPIs define a network to be healthy one day may change another, resulting in you being alerted with issues that have little impact on your network, masking you from the problems that really matter. With AI-driven dynamic baselining, we have a solution that completely solves this problem, and it does so by leveraging Cisco's machine learning algorithms to analyze your network's trends to dynamically find a personalized baseline threshold that proactively determines what to expect, alerts you when a deviation is detected, and even provides you with steps for remediation. Essentially, rather than just monitoring your network for present-day issues, this state-of-the-art solution also allows you to monitor your network for future risks. Let's take a real life scenario for example. Imagine you're a network administrator and you've received many complaints from employees about having client onboarding issues. Let's go over a demo about how easy it is to root cause an issue with AI driven dynamic baselining. First, log into Cisco DNA Center, open the menu, click on Assurance, and then Issues. This page has the purpose of alerting you of any detected anomalies within your network. And let's say that the last employee complaint came one hour ago. Simply click on the left arrow on the right of the timeline once to navigate back one hour. And you'll see that the AI-driven filter has been incremented to three. By clicking on the AI-driven filter, we can see that we have three AI-driven issues. Taking a look at the middle issue, it reads, excessive failures to connect, high deviation from baseline, which sounds very similar to the client onboarding complaints we're receiving. Clicking into it, we're now provided with the full view of the ML discovered issue. Quick disclaimer, this demo is being run on a customer's live deployment, so we've gone ahead and encrypted the locations, APs, and client names for privacy purposes. Starting at the top, we're given a background of the issue and an impact summary that depicts how many locations and clients are affected, 
instantly giving you an insight into the magnitude of the anomaly at hand. Scrolling down, we now see the problem details chart depicting the time on the x-axis and the percentage of failed onboarding events on the y-axis. So how do we interpret this chart? As discussed earlier, rather than manually setting a min and max threshold, the green area here is the ML-powered, dynamically generated healthy threshold for the percentage of failed onboarding sessions over this time period. As for the blue line, this depicts the actual percentage of failed onboarding sessions in your network, and when this line exits the dynamic baseline area for a prolonged period of time, it's considered to be an anomaly, and is highlighted by the ML algorithm where the pink area is shown here in the middle. If we then click on the Impact tab on the left, we'll instantly get a per floor view of the number of clients affected by this anomaly, as well as a per table view, highlighting specific per client metadata. Then, by clicking on the top 10 impacted APs tab, we'll filter the same data to show the most significant APs affected by this issue, providing you with probable areas of your network to look into first. Now that we have an understanding of the impact, next comes the exciting part. By clicking on the root cause analysis tab, you'll observe a view of specific KPIs that the machine learning algorithms have deemed to be potentially related to your network's reported issue. And in this case, we can see two charts, one for the percentage and another for the number of AAA auth failures. Notice that in both charts, the AAA auth failures had gone up exponentially during the exact period the onboarding failures occurred. Essentially, AI analytics using its machine learning algorithm had gone through all your networking KPIs to create such correlations, narrowing down the avenues that we need to investigate during troubleshooting. While these two AAA KPIs are what we believe add the most value towards finding the root cause to your issue, if you'd like to do some self-investigation, we also provide you with the ability to add additional KPI charts to this page. By clicking on the Add KPI button at the top, a menu will open up and allow you to select as many KPIs as you'd like, and once you hit Apply, the selected KPIs will appear in the form of charts, providing you with a truly end-to-end -end view into any corner of your network at that particular moment in time. Notice that there is also a thumbs up button to the right of the charts, as well as both a thumbs up and down button below the issue background at the top. Basically, if you find that this AI-driven issue and correlated KPIs are accurate and is bringing you value in improving your network, by giving a thumbs up, you're sending an input into our machine learning model that reaffirms the algorithm to continue providing you with such relevant issues and correlations, ultimately improving your experience with AI-driven analytics. As a recap, this page displays the high-level average view that aggregates the data from all of your AP's radios. However, AI-driven analytics also provides you with different options to drill down to a per AP radio view. By clicking on the Failed Distribution tab at the top, you'll be met with a failure type breakout chart, which depicts the AP's radios that have the highest percentage of failed onboarding sessions by the number of onboarding attempts. Each of these circles represents an AP's radio and will provide you with relevant device side metadata by hovering your cursor over and viewing the tooltip. Looking below, there's even a data flow diagram depicting what APs are failing the most, with what radio, at what stage, and the reason providing you with a stage-by-stage -stage view of the failure distribution. If you wanted to get a percentage view of the failures, click on the Failed Percentage tab, and this time, the chart at the top categorizes the AP's radios by the percentage of failed client onboarding sessions, and below, we're met with charts such as the percentage of failed onboarding sessions, number of successful onboarding sessions, average onboarding duration, and onboarding client count. By clicking each AP through the chart at the top, it changes the charts below to show data for that specific AP, which allows you to compare each AP's performance with each other for reference. If you wanted to get a per AP failed count view, click on the failed count tab at the top, and this time, the chart changes to categorize AP's radios by the number of onboarding failures. Just like before, we're provided with relevant metrics about each selected AP, such as the percentage of failed onboarding sessions, number of failed onboarding sessions, average failed onboarding duration, and onboarding client count. Finally, now that we've gathered all the data around this issue, we can click on Suggested Actions, and you'll observe AI-driven analytics even provides you with exact steps that you can take to resolve this issue, such as checking that the AAA server's load is within the threshold, and many more. And in addition to client onboarding failures, there are so many more anomalies that this feature can detect. With that being said, 
This is the power of Cisco's AI-driven cognitive analytics with dynamic baselining. Join us in episode two, where we'll talk about the exciting capabilities of AI-driven network insights and AI-driven heat maps. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as always, thank you for watching. Skill.